from the Caribbean. Today is a beautiful Sunday. I thought I'd do a short video to talk a little bit about why I chose the jurisdiction of Nevis, a little bit about the differences between Nevis and St. Kitts, as well as things to do, places to visit in St. Kitts and Nevis, as well as areas if you're considering purchasing real estate, which we can assist with, areas that you might want to consider. So I first moved to Nevis full-time to or during the summer of 2013. I would previously visited Nevis a couple years before when I was in high school, I did a sailing trip where we sailed from St. Martin to Saba, Stacia, St. Kitts, Nevis, uh, St. Barts, and back to St. Martin. I just remember sailing up to Nevis along Pinney's Beach and just thinking it's absolutely beautiful with an active volcano and it's really, really peaceful. And I wanted to come back and experience what it would be like to actually live on the island. So when I was doing research in law school, I discovered that Nevis is one of the best jurisdictions in the world. So I moved there in the summer of 2013, absolutely loved it, and then subsequently decided to go back and uh, experience the island even more. So some of the things that I love about St. Kitts and Nevis, or in particular Nevis, is that it's just really naturally beautiful. So it's really common to see cows, to see donkeys, to see goats roaming around as well. Like there's lots of verve monkeys. So especially around the Four Seasons area, if you're golfing and you ever lose your golf ball, you just blame it on a monkey. And uh, so some of the like, great places to visit or like popular things to do or hang out spots. Um, so there's Wally Beach, which they have live music as well as you can go swimming and uh, have lunch at the hotel. As well, there's like um, a bike shop nearby. So if you wanna rent bikes and then bike around the island or do water activities, there's lots of starfish in the water and you can, it's common to see turtles. So the entire island, it's, it's really, really small, population about 7,500 to 10,000. You can drive around the island in 35 to 40 minutes. Um, some other interesting places to visit are Chrissy Beach. Um, so that's a really great place for lunch. I often joke that it's an extension of my office. I like to go and do work from there. As well, there's the Four Seasons uh, Hotel, which is a really popular place along Pinney's Beach. There's Sunshine's Beach Bar and Grill, which is a famous local place, as well as Turtle Time. Um, they're all along Penny's Beach because often I go to Penny's Beach just to walk and clear my mind, read a book, and or go swimming. And sometimes I can be the only person on the beach, so there's not that many places in the world where you can go and just have, be in a country and go to the beach frequently and be the only person on the beach. And um, so in the, in the town, so Charlestown is the capital, there's Café des Arts, which is a lot of expats go to Café des Arts. There's also other places to visit like the Botanical Gardens, absolutely beautiful. There's Montpellier, there's the Hermitage, there's Golden Rock, so the Gardens of Golden Rock, uh, it's really nice. There's Nisbet, uh, there's many other hotels and restaurants on the island to choose from. There's water activities uh, from both Wally and Pinnies at Four Seasons. There's um, diving, sailing, snorkeling, kayaking, you name it, there's lots of different activities. Um, especially if you're someone that really likes to be in nature and spend time alone and be really somewhere that's peaceful. There's a growing expat community, uh, lots of retired doctors and people that are doctors. There's medical schools on island in both Nevis and St. Kitts. So some people that uh, have worked in the medical profession their entire lives, they might want to come and retire on the, live on the island as well as continue teaching to, to just pass on their knowledge. Um, so there's a growing doctor community in St. Kitts and Nevis. And then there's boats that go in between the islands. So there's the sea bridge if you want to bring your car between the islands. And frequently there's um, ferries that go between Nevis and St. Kitts. So they leave Charlestown, which is the capital of Nevis, and they go to St. Kitts, which uh, in Bastyr area, um, which is the capital of St. Kitts. And so a lot of um, expats or people, they want to come and live in the Frigate Bay area near the Marriott. Um, there's a strip area, which is, there's lots of like local bars and there's lots of great restaurants throughout the island. Uh, there's like the scenic rail tour if you really want to go around the island. It's much bigger in terms of area as well as population compared to Nevis. Um, there's, so there's much more, much more action, um, more activities to do. And then so another area where expats tend to go is like Kristoff Harbor area, um, near Park Hyatt as well as uh, Carambola area, so there's beaches there that are really nice. A lot of people ask if there's surfing. There's not surfing, but there is windsurfing. So a lot of people windsurf. If you want to go surfing, more of the islands of St. Martin and St. Barts. A lot of people go to St. Barts to go surfing, which are nearby islands. Uh, so one of the things that I love about living in the Caribbean is that if you have a sailboat or you enjoy sailing, 
you can sail to different islands nearby, so there's Seba Stacia. Um, you can like sail in between St. Kitts and Nevis, there's St. Martin, St. Bart's, uh, Antigua, Anguilla, which are all nearby islands that are worth exploring. And uh, so yeah, so those are like a little bit about the differences between the islands. So if you're looking for more action, then there's St. Kitts. If you're looking for more calm and tranquility, there's Nevis. Um, as somebody who's like a writer, likes to spend time alone and reading, like I felt like Nevis was the best choice for me as well, like, which is interesting, um, like people are very friendly. It's like pro business, I would say, as well as there's a lot of people in the cryptocurrency space that are, that live in St. Kitts um, and some people that live in Nevis. Um, so there's interesting laws and there's pro business. So um, I've never, as somebody who's not originally born in St. Kitts and Nevis, but that does have St. Kitts and Nevis citizenship, uh, everyone's been sort of like welcoming me in terms of moving to the island as well as starting my own business. So that's really something that's been interesting. And uh, yeah, so if anyone has any questions about living in St. Kitts and Nevis, um, and, and a couple of other points that I forgot, just forgot to mention that I comes to mind right now, are really the cost of living. So compared to other islands, the cost of living is less. While it's still expensive, it is less compared to some other islands as well. I think it's, a, a, it's just starting to have a growing expat community as well as there's lots of um, lots of room for future development and future progress and I really liked uh, the leadership of the country um, and a lot of the people that are on island are really approachable and friendly so these are just some of the points that uh, the reasons why I made Nevis my home. I'm not there all the time so I travel regularly throughout the Caribbean. Uh, I've recently spent a lot of time in St. Martin helping clients purchase real estate in neighboring islands so I love ne having Nevis as my home base, but also traveling regularly throughout the Caribbean and learning more about what the Caribbean has to offer and different business opportunities. So if a client approaches me and says, what option is best for me, really have more of a global perspective of the Caribbean. So if anyone wants to find out more information about the services that we offer at JH Marlin Law, we offer citizenship by investment, residency by investment. You can visit our website at jhmarlin.com or you can send me an email at jennifer at jhmarlin.com and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Okay, have a great day. All the best. Bye.